Seven out of eight ASU tennis players are international students. But it's not only women's sports who have international student athletes. Classroom doors in Wilson Hall remain locked at all times. Breast cancer survivors are speaking out and telling their stories. Many colleges and universities in the United States, including Arkansas State University here in Jonesboro, have become smoke-free campuses. The Association of Women in Communications is teaming up with Arkansas Children's Hospital. The women of AWC believe in their hearts that Santa lives. Former President Bill Clinton is campaigning for U.S. Senator Blanche Lincoln and Democratic nominee Chad Cossey. The crowd increased in numbers as these three officials made their appearance in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Each official delivered a powerful speech. I'm asking for your vote because I want to be your next member of Congress. I'm asking for your trust and make a difference in this great nation of ours and in our great state. Well, what's going to happen? We're going to get out and vote. If they'd saved my budget, we'd be out of debt in five years as a country. The crowd consisted of both young people and elderly. Everyone was cheering. The band provided the music. The people were holding up posters, wearing stickers, and hats. President Clinton also expresses the democratic view on educational values. But the dropout rate is so high because the costs have gone up so much, people can't get more student loans, they're scared to take on more loans, they're scared they'll never be able to repay it, they know their families don't have any money, maybe they ought to quit and help their families. Clinton says funds will always be available to individuals who want to go to college. For the first time ever, every single solitary person that gets a student loan will be able to pay that loan back as a small, never more than 10%, and if your income's low, less, small fixed percentage of your income for up to 20 years. So nobody will ever have to drop out of college again because they have to borrow more money or because they're afraid that they can't pay it back. Never, ever. Dominique Walker, ASU TV. Everyone knows <laughs> when election time is approaching. Citizens make their way to the polls to cast their votes. Craighead County Clerk Nancy Nelms says every vote counts. You know, it makes a difference. If everybody sits home and says my vote doesn't count, well, you know, you get 50,000 people that, you know, that didn't think that their vote counts. She says registered voters should take advantage of the opportunity. I think if you don't try and do your part, I don't think that you have the right to complain. You know, if you don't take that few minutes to go and cast your ballot. The individuals who came to the post to vote for midterm elections were the faces of adults and the older generation. A couple of ASU students give their opinion on why they believe it is important for the younger generation, especially college students, to vote. Um, a lot of things that, um, are really important with politi politics right now are very important they concern the college students a lot um, I guess specifically um, for instance like health care for everyone um, a lot of college students aren't able to get health care. Adrian says political issues can help college students and harm them. Those laws um, they really affect college students so I think it's like really important to make sure we get the right candidates that are going enforce the right rules and pass the right laws that will actually benefit college students a lot. ASU sophomore Carisha Hudson says college students should get more involved with politics. A lot of college students don't understand that we are the future. It's time that our mothers and our grandmothers, their time is winding down. Uh, the new taxes won't affect them as much. Social Security benefits won't affect them as much. She says 
college students have more things to deal with. We're the next one in line. We got social security problems, stimulus check. People think just because we're 18, 19, 20, our vote don't count. So we will make the biggest difference. The older generation seems to pay more attention to politics. There were only a handful of young faces casting their votes. Dominique Walker, ASU TV News. Johnson Avenue is the main road through the north side of Jonesboro. This is why several police officers are assigned to patrol that area. However, the most popular crime being committed along Johnson Avenue is breaking and entering. Northern Jonesboro is the top area for the city's crime rates. Those incidents are 9% burglary, 18% domestic, 22% robbery, and one illegal substance. Public Information Officer Stephen McDaniel says officers are often called to investigate crimes along Johnson Avenue. Uh, we would expect that there would be quite a bit of activity on Johnson Avenue. Uh, there's a lot of residential as well as a lot of commercial there, so usually we have officers over there every day. With the large amount of crimes committed along Johnson Avenue, patrol officers are needed at all times. Johnson Avenue actually you know, runs from one side of the city to the other side of the city, so uh, we have numerous officers that are working in, in uh, a few different districts. Arkansas State University borders Johnson Avenue. Is it possible that these crimes could affect the A-State campus? Certainly we would expect the, the crime to be associated at times with crime at ASU. In other words, you know, some of the things that we saw were vehicle break-ins, and we know that there are a lot of vehicles on the ASU campus. Officers of the Jonesboro Police Department are determined to increase law enforcement along Johnson Avenue to minimize crime rates. Dominique Walker, A-State News. From the campus of Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, here is your source for A-State news, weather, and sports with Sean Patton, Dominique Walker, Tim Johnson, and Mike Jussell. And now, live from the ASU TV studios in the College of Communications, this is ASU TV News. Good afternoon, and welcome to the November 17th edition of ASU TV News. I'm Dominique Walker. Before we get into the top stories of the day, let's take a look at weather with Tim Johnson. Good afternoon. Thanks, Tim. Police are looking for a man who robbed Bancorp South Bank Tuesday afternoon here in Jonesboro. Police reported a lone gunman entered Bancorp South on West Parker Road around 12.15 p.m. The Florida Department of Health announced Wednesday a woman who recently returned to Florida from Haiti has been diagnosed with cholera. Health officials said the outbreak of the disease in Haiti has killed over 1,000 people. Aid workers in Haiti are having problems treating cholera victims in the city of Cap Haitian. It's because of violent protests there over how the cholera epidemic is being handled. Demonstrators accuse UN peacemakers of starting the outbreak. Ivan Watson takes us through the streets of a very dangerous city. This is what you see when you land at Cap Haitian. A small tremor was detected early Tuesday morning in Mississippi County. According to a preliminary report from the Center of Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis, the 2.8 magnitude earthquake happened around 4.15 a.m., two miles southeast of Dell. Find out what changes are in store for the four local energy drink here when ASU TV News returns. Welcome back to ASU TV News. The maker of caffeinated alcoholic drink for Loco says it's pulling caffeine and other energy boosters from its formula. Fusion Products announced the decision after New York Senator Charles Schumann announced Tuesday that the FDA is considering a ban on all similar drinks. 
For most college students, Thanksgiving break is just around the corner. It's a time to look forward to seeing family and having a healthy home cooked meal. Many college kids usually start school with no idea how to cook, especially when they live on their own. But a new program is trying to teach them the basics of eating well. Here's Susan Hendricks with today's Health Minute. It's shopping day for these Temple University students. The countdown to Turkey Day is on. If you haven't made your travel plans yet, you better get started. A huge surge of travelers are expected on the roads, rails, and airways next week. Stephanie Elam breaks down the numbers. If you're planning on traveling this Thanksgiving, good news heading into the holiday shopping season. Retail sales rose 1.2 percent in October. That's better than what analysts expected and marks the fourth month in a row of gains. Today was indeed a lovely day. Tim, what can we expect for the rest of the week? Um, well, the day's not going to stay so much lovelier. Um, we're actually going to possibly see some rain tonight, but we'll have more for weather after the break. For sports this week, what can we expect, Mike? Well, Dominique, this is a big sports weekend for Arkansas State. Tomorrow, the Lady Volleyball team will travel to Murfreesboro, Tennessee to play in the Sun Belt Conference Championship. And on Saturday, the football team will travel to Maryland to play in the national televised game on CVS against Navy. So, be sure to watch the game. I will have more with that game after the break. Welcome back to ASU TV News. Here's something that is sure to make you smile. A wedding mix at the last minute could have been devastating, but one Colorado bride decided to make it a special occasion for others instead. John M R Romero has the story. Saturday night was supposed to be a joy. Thank you for watching ASU TV News. Until next time, have a good Thanksgiving. Good afternoon. Welcome to the November 29th edition of ASU TV News. I'm Dominique Walker and we have breaking news, a press conference to decide the fate of ASU head coach John Roberts. We have a reporter standing by the Convocation Center at this press conference with more details. Uh, we did win four, but I think you could probably circle. Excuse me, that was ASU head football coach Steve Roberts. We are listening in at the Convocation Center at this press conference right now. We will have more details when they are available. But now let's take our first look at weather with, of course, Tim Johnson. Students become victims of bullying. ASU TV reporter Eric Hicks reports on how bullying has affected schools. The don't ask, don't tell policy that prevents gay service members from serving openly in the military, saying Sunday that the system is working. Coming up, ASU students hit the runway, and I'll tell you about how some Black Friday shoppers made Santa's naughty list. Christmas time is approaching fast, and people are decorating for this exciting holiday. However, Christmas decorations can be dangerous if they are not used correctly. Dangers can be avoided by following manufacturer recommendations. We've experienced some slight showers, but today, heavy rains. Tim, what can we expect for the rest of the week? Well, uh, we're going to have some more showers tonight, and then it's going to be partly cloudy tomorrow, and uh, I'll tell you what's going to happen the rest of the week when we get back from the break. Music 